uh, I'm trying to mess with DeviantArt. Uh, for some reason, I have an application called, it's called Send Anywhere. And I can uh, uh, upload a couple pictures uh, to my uh, laptop from my phone. Uh, I mean, it's a long story because uh, my USB cable, when I plug it into my laptop, it just doesn't work. Like my phone, it, it's, it shows like it's getting charged, which is fine, but it won't let me sync all the data or whatever into my laptop. So I downloaded an app. Um, it's an app on the phone. It's a site on, on the computer or laptop, whatever. And you know, you could, um, uh, you could without, without a cable electronically, you know, sync, uh, you know, data, whatever, pictures, video, whatever, you know? So uh, for some reason, like uh, that, that app on my phone is called Send Anywhere. It doesn't show my latest pictures to be uh, synced or sent to my laptop. But I don't know. Uh, there's people that mess with electronics, uh, hacking. I don't know how they do it. I already don't. Uh, I don't know if they use Mentalio, they actually have programs and applications. My last video, uh, Chatterbait Violation, happened before. And that in that particular video, though, people acting very, uh, uh, you know, uh, pleasant. Well, oh, maybe it's a bug, just wait for it. I mean, and you know, 20, 30 minutes prior to I recorded another one, but I deleted it because my sound wasn't that great. Uh, and, they, and they didn't care. They just didn't care about that, you know. So it's like, they just gave me an answer to someone in the chat room doing that. You know, I don't even know. I don't even care. Honestly, um, I'm alive. I really am. You know, I'm alive. I'm a live human being. I never died and experienced death. I did say that I felt death, but it was, it, it, it was creeping the server with somebody else's death. You know, there's a lot of things in this world that are, are spiritual, but it, it, there's a lot of negativity people do also, you know, with the spiritual sense, you know? Uh, what else was I going to say? You know, um, I'm from Earth. I'm from here. You know, people used to say, uh, I belong here. I don't want to go on the moon or, or Mars. If I would, I'd probably go there for like, you know, whatever time I leave. I, I love the color green. I love, not just uh, smoke, green, money, uh, you know, but uh, grass, real grass and trees and all that. I love nature. You know, I respect it, you know. My biggest issue is with humanity in general uh, is pollution, creating plastic, not reversing uh, the the process that it took to create that uh, that item for the better good. Because some I read somewhere years ago or a couple months ago that uh, you know someone uh, actually already did the uh, the chemistry and the math or whatever, right? Uh, to develop a technology or a device or whatever to dismantle plastic in a healthy manner instead of burning it or, you know, uh, throwing it in a dump. But, you know, it's like, even if you throw it in a dump and you bury it, it disintegrates about, on the average, 100 years or something like that. Styrofoam takes longer. I mean, uh, that's just a disgrace, you know. It's disrespectful to nature, uh, Earth, and, uh, you know, even us, you know, but... We live on this planet. We share it, right? This is not our planet. No one owns the planet. We just live here, you know? And it's like, uh, to put it in a metaphor, metaphor, metaphorical sense, you know, it's like you're invited to somebody's house. You live there, but it's not your house. I mean, we all live here, but you have to have, you have, to have some respect. And even in my place, you know, uh, I have respect for where I live. I try to take care of myself and try to clean every day. I do dishes every day. Uh, once I didn't do it for two days, and it was just frustrating. I couldn't even look at it, you know. Um, I like to keep it clean, you know. Really, really do. But, you know, I respect this place. I respect this planet, you know. And uh, the thing about Mars, and I elaborated on that. Imagine going to a planet, and I, I don't know what kind of atmosphere they have because they showed it in a movie. But let's say there was an atmosphere be all red, at least to my knowledge. You know, the color red, it, it says it... Uh, it's very aggravating. Not aggravating, but you notice it. It's very ferocious, you know? Imagine that's all you see. I don't want to experience that in my life, you know? Uh, in winter, people, they say they have this, uh, I don't know if they call it climate, uh, weather uh, depression or whatever, you know, through winter because it's sad. Everything is gray, cloudy. I understand that. You know, but there is a sense of beauty about that too, you know? But uh, I love uh, sunny days. Uh, it sucks when it's a little bit cloudy. Uh, it could be cold, but whatever. Um, 
I like uh, all facets and all parts of uh, climate, but I don't like climate change when it's done by us uh, through industri industrial means and a lot of other forms of pollution, you know? that I mean, we have the technology, we have science, we have people that can fix it, just a lot of people don't want to or don't care, you know? I don't respect that, I really don't. It makes me very angry and, uh, you know, I, I try to look the other way because I don't want it to get to me, you know? It's very disturbing. But um, I am from this planet. I know I am, you know, because uh, I believe I'm uh, in, a, in a form, in a spiritual form. I'm intertwined with nature, you know. Uh, I have cats. I would like to have a dog. I don't even want to call it my pet because I don't think I own that creature, you know. And it doesn't own me. It's a, it's a relationship. It's a bond. It's a companionship. And I have that with the three cats. <laughs> the the most the one that I posted a video of him is Chunya, you know. <laughs> yeah, she she could be mean. She even has aggression towards me, but you know, we have a, a companionship and you know, it, it's pretty cool. <laughs> um so I respect that. I get very annoyed, frustrated and angry at people that, you know, don't respect uh, animals or cats even. I see cats that are, you know, don't have a home. Some of them are hurt and we just overlook that. But there's people that own them own pets and cats and mistreat them, you know? I know people like that. Uh, I just, you know, I, again, I look the other way now because it got me in trouble before because I got angry over that. You know, I try to defend them, you know? It's a living being. It feels stuff, you know? And yeah, I do believe that they understand our words, uh, the, maybe the context, especially the tone. Everybody should understand what the tone. If I raise my tone at you, you're gonna know that, uh, you know, I'm angry, right? Or I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I'm trying to hurt you, or I'm, you know, uh, I try to hurt you in my tone or, or my language. They understand that. They feel that, you know. In a physical sense, some of them uh, might not have the freshest water all the time, or the, the best food, or maybe they uh, they need a they need a veter veterinarian. You know, it's the physical uh, sense, you know. But I know I'm from here, and that's what I mean, you know. Also. I feel there's, there's other people that just, you know, have no compassion or empathy. You know, I don't respect something like that. Even though I did get angry. Uh, I don't know if there's videos on this channel, but I mean, what, what do you expect when the world is all uh, messed up and people act like, you know, they just, they're not from this planet. They don't even care about this place. You know, they really don't. You know, I do feel there's people that just don't have a soul. Maybe they went through something and they lost it. Uh, you know, in a metaphorical uh, sense, people say that. When you come up, become an artist, musician, especially in the, uh, I heard in a lot of rap community, they talk about they sold their souls or something. People talk about selling out. But you know, my thing is, and I am gonna make a video about that. You know, I probably couldn't be a performer. You know, I couldn't do that. I, I mean, I want thousands of people looking at me and saying, oh, do this, that. I just, I don't think I would do this, something like that, you know? Maybe in a, you know, a reading or something like that, maybe I get used to it, but you know, it's just that whole, it's that whole, I don't want to say persona of a person they have to be to be a public figure, but to get on stage, even if that is rap or hip hop, you know, just to play, play, and like, you know, you're, ba uh, you're basically an entertainer. You're entertaining people, you know, that's what you're doing, you know, and that's what they are. And then, you know, the celebrity culture, wait, what kind of car they bought, and like, not even that, and you know, um, just that whole lifestyle, you know, paparazzi, you know, I even watch, you know, uh, I watch some uh, celebrity couples and it's like, you know, when they go outside the house, they have no privacy, you know, it's very creepy and disturbing. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm weirded out by that, you know, maybe, I mean, maybe people get used to that, but as far as performing, performing arts, it's just, you know, it just, it takes a lot of energy out of person, you know, and, you know, I don't chase that, you know. I'd rather have a, a, a conversation about something, even if it's just through text, and that will mean more than, you know, uh, the other things that people might chase, you know? But like I said, it's just hard to find someone like that, that is, uh, has reason, logic, compassion, and appears to be alive from this planet.